Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Shadow and Sun Show, and welcome back to another game review. This time, it's my first look at a sailing ships game recommended to me by my good friend James L. You guys all know James. Um, next time you see him, tell him thanks for me. Um, this game, oop, let's get it so we don't have a whole lot of glare, is Galleys and Galleons. It's a tabletop war game that for the most part is my best attempt at getting back into my old favorite game, that being Man of War. Man of War over the years has become absolutely unaffordable uh, for a beginning brand new player. I used to have it and I made the horrific mistake of selling it. And while I, I miss it, I, I, I knew I couldn't get back into it at 50 bucks a ship um, if you're lucky and, you know, it's just all the things that I would have to recollect to, to get back into a sailing sort of nautical war game. Uh, my son and I, we used to play the Pirates game from WizKids with the pocket models, and we loved it, but it, it was lacking in a few things. And, you know, keeping those ships together was just kind of a, a, a chore. So we, we let it slide by for a few years, and James L. recommended this. We were talking about it over at... Uh, the GM's alcove with Fritz and the gang, and you know, I said, you know what, twenty-five bucks. It wasn't even twenty-five bucks. It was uh, about twelve, uh, twenty-five. I got both books, and I'm going to go into the other book uh, that I got with this uh, next week. Uh, I'm still going through this book because I actually read ahead into the second book because the second book is more of the the fantasy element side. But this game can be played. With just a little bit of prep work, all you need are some six-sided dice in various colors and some scale ships anywhere from 1300 to 12400. I'm shooting for something around 1200 or something like that. I don't want the ships to be too big. I'm going to make the ships from scratch. So, you know, I, the smaller I make them, the less detail I have to work. I, I Maybe one of these days I'll... I'll see if I can find some actual pre-made ship miniatures, but everything I find is just either a little bit too small or way too big, and the bigger the ship, the more expensive the model, and I'm going to try my hand at making some ships out of various craft materials we went over last night, but right off the bat, this game is, is I'm not going to say it's simple, because it's got a lot of crunch to it, with with the, the, the ship building and the, the rules themselves are pretty straightforward. You have three dice that will give you up to three actions per activation per ship in your fleet. And all the information can be written down on a half of an index card, uh, regardless of the size. There's, there's you know, uh, keywords, and you, you do need to know the keywords and, and understand them. But fortunately, the book is only about 78 pages, a good portion of that is reproductive re reproduced charts in the back of the book like any good book is going to have you know all the basic tables and things like that and i'm really enjoying everything i'm reading so far especially uh, the fact that it could be used as a basically a historical war game if you like or you can go all the way into various levels of fantasy it does include the rules for things like submersibles and airships, you know, dirigibles and hot air balloons, ornithopters, gyrocopters, and of course sea monsters are plenty in here, and there are more in the second book, as well as a bit of magic, so that if you do want to have wizards and things like that, helping your ships move along. All in all, I, I really am enjoying every bit of this, uh, considering the, the, the fact that this book was, like I said, I think I got it on Amazon, it was about $12, $13.00. Or did I get them on eBay? I, I don't remember. Uh, I'd have to go back and check my records. But either way, I found them pretty reasonable priced in, in both locations. But I think I went with Amazon just for the, the quickness of the shipping. And if you're not so much into the fantasy realm and you just want to you know, go for historicals, you can pick up the single book for you know obviously less than 15 bucks, including tax, etc., and you can get stuck in. And if you already have ship models, that's even better because you can, you know, 
wor work it with, with just about any scale and any sort of models you have. You could even just use cardboard counters if you like. You don't have to worry too much about keeping track of, you know, hits to the ship because that's the dice. As, as you take hits to the ship, you change the colors of the three dice that you're going to be using per ship. So you're going to need a fair amount of D6s. That's one of the few problems I have. I have nothing but black and white six-sided dice, and that's not going to work out so well. I need to get some 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 dice. I'm not, I'm not going to pull dice out of my other game boxes. Uh, all all the games that I have that are that are box that sort of thing, their dice stay exactly where they are. So other than needing a boatload of D6s and some materials to make your 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 tabletop red piece of cloth will work just fine you can even go to your various dollar stores and get a blue table cover and you're good to go for a buck then you're going to want to have some you know terrain you know maybe crags and spires sticking up out of the water to islands and those obviously you can do with just you know pieces of cardstock and just draw them out or if you want to go the full route that we're going to go this month and you know take some polystyrene or or some xps or or just you know felt mats or things like that you can easily come up with some terrain and everything should be able to fit into less than a shoe box depending on how you go with the ships and the terrain itself i'm going to work on a whole bunch of different pieces of terrain this month to to really be able to you know make the table look cool so that when people are you know passing by and they see what's going on they're like oh this looks interesting you don't, you don't want to have it just completely everything's flat um that, that that that's just not inspiring for me anyways i've played a lot of like i said man of war and a couple other games in the past don't give up the ship things like that and the cooler the ship models look the cooler the terrain looks just the more into the game you can get my son and I are hoping to get to play at least a couple of games of this during the Christmas vacation. So I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, especially you old timers who've, who've played either Man of War or any other game, or even this game, let me know if you guys have any tips for it. Uh, because like I said, this is just my first look. I'll probably go back over the, the whole subject of Galleys and Galleons uh, next month or the month after, after we played a bunch of games but this is my first look and right off the bat like i said for for 12 and a half bucks just for the first book knowing what i know about having played man of war and other games i know that the the table dressings that i, I that, that, that that's a no-brainer that's not going to cost me any actual expenditures I, I did buy some craft sticks for making the ships but those will you know i can justify those for using them in hundreds of other crafts and projects later on down the road especially going into next year and you know if you're cheap you can just save your corn dog sticks save your coffee stir sticks save your popsicle sticks you know boil them in good hot water you know sterilize them whatever you want to do and then get get into it and if you happen to know of any companies that make pre-made ships because making things like the elven ships that's going to be pretty much out of my wheelhouse those those tend to be really fancy and really really detailed and I don't know that I could do that making galleys and galleons and submarines and things like that 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 I think I can I can manage but some of the more fancy ships and of course sea monsters I, I can't I can't uh, uh, let you guys go without talking about sea monsters there are so many ways you can create sea monsters whether you use rubber sharks or or rubber snakes and glue them to bases all the way up to taking your old D&D &D, like 25 mil scale dragons or things like that and basing them for this game or or uh, one of the things I used to do I would take textured paint and build that up and I actually made some water elementals and things like that to do that you got your your giant turtles and and krakens and all those things I know for a fact you can go to most dollar stores and get a bag of rubber sea creatures and now they're just giant sized and you're good to go I, I i have to go to a different dollar store to get them for this project because we ran out of them last year as you saw with some of our videos but for the most part you could probably pull the whole game both books 
and most of the crafting materials you need for I'm going to say less than 40 bucks and you'll have everything you need even including a couple of bottles of glue and maybe a good old-fashioned exacto knife if you don't already have one but if you don't already have like half a dozen exacto knives you're just not you you're not in in that level of crafting that you need to be to get this game onto your tabletop i really hope that this works out for us we we've, we've got nothing but high hopes for it and it comes well recommended again if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for this game or enhancing you know your old tabletop nautical games let me know i'm also going to get to use parts of this in my upcoming role playing game when i need to show the players you know here's the ship you're on here's the pirate ships you know let let's you know see what what happens that sort of thing it's going to be a lot of fun I really can't wait to get stuck into this one. So, until next time, folks, have a great week, and we'll see you real soon. Bye.